Alright guys, what is going on? Today we're going to be doing a video here in the garage. We're going to be talking about snow removal, ice melt, is it worth it in my area? Is it worth it to even mess with this kind of stuff? We're going to get into that. I got kind of mixed feelings on it, but we're going to talk about that here in a minute. Right now, I want to talk about the garage a little bit. So, as you can see, the garage is still a complete mess, but believe it or not, I feel like we're making a lot of progress. We have, there's a lot of end in sight that I can just see. I can see it all coming together. Uh, we got new cabinets up over here. Obviously, they need painted, all that kind of stuff, but it looks pretty good. So basically, everything I got left to do was just a lot of organizing, uh, paperwork, getting things put up on the wall that I want, all that kind of stuff. But I have enough shelving now to where I can do that. And uh, we, we put these shelves up yesterday, got the toolbox, got the cabinets up on the wall right there, and got we just got a lot of space now, and that's what I wanted. I wanted everything up off the floor, and I wanted a spot for everything. I want everything to have its place. Now, the only thing that I don't have uh, a spot for, and I'm really not even sure what I'm gonna do with yet, is the backpack blowers. So all in all, we got six backpack blowers. And as a lot of you guys know, they take up a lot of room in a, in a shop, in a garage. They take up a lot of room. So I'm not really sure what I wanna do with those yet. Um, I'm kind of running out of wall space to hang them up. So just not, just not sure what I wanna do right now. Anyway, let's get talking about some snow removal. So a lot of you guys know at the end of 2017, I decided to go out and buy a plow, buy a salter, and the controller inside the cab. I bought the whole package deal. It was right around $7,500, and I decided I'm gonna go for it, and I'm gonna make a go at this snow game. So once I got everything hooked up, I was all excited. I was ready for it to snow, and I kept waiting, and I kept waiting, and I kept waiting, and it didn't snow. Last year, pretty much all we got was, I think we had about three, maybe four, uh, times where we can go out and salt where it was freezing rain or it rained and then the temperatures dropped so it kind of froze a little bit but that's basically the only time I got to use my setup last year so last year all in all I made about $2,500 doing the salt thing and uh, you know that's pretty good money for the winter but it's not something you can really hang your hat on now this year I have been I have been out I have plowed once and I have salted once and, and that's it for right now and it's still early but you know, it just doesn't seem like there's gonna be um, the snow that I remember having when, you know, even five, 10 years ago around Wichita, um, it just seems like that we got a lot more snow back then. I don't really know, I haven't looked at the, uh, the stats, but all I know is the last four or five years, it has been pretty non-existent. Um, you know, so I know a lot of guys around here are kind of struggling with the snow game. And, uh, you know, we spend all this money on the plow and all these setups. And, and getting these snow accounts, and they're just not working out the way I thought it was going to. Now, I'm still trying to kind of hold out some hope that maybe, you know, we'll have a winter where we got, you know, three or four good snows and you can make some decent money. This is where I'm kind of struggling at. It, you know, do I want to keep my plow set up? Do I want to get rid of it? Do what, what do I want to do? I'm just not sure what I want to do right now. Now, I know as soon as I get rid of this thing and as soon as I, you know, say goodbye to the plow game, it's gonna, it's gonna snow a foot. I, I know that's the way it's gonna work. And it's funny, cause around here, you talk to a lot of lawn and landscape guys, and, and I'm the same way. It's like, you know, we've had four or five years of, of hardly nothing, you know, you're kind of sitting there going, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And then, you know, last year it didn't come. So far this year, it really hasn't come. Um, there, there's a big snowstorm coming tonight, tomorrow morning. And if you can kind of see on the map, it goes right into Kansas, but right around the Wichita area, it kind of, kind of goes away. And our temperatures right now are still hovering. I think it's supposed to be like 38 all day today. So if it snows, it, it's, it's been raining this morning and it's supposed to rain all day, but it's just not cold enough for it to freeze right now. So obviously the guys that are way up north, you know, the guys that get a lot of snow, the Minnesota area, I, you know, the, the Dakotas, that kind of stuff, the Northeast, I know snow's coming there, um, but I, I think it's been kind of hit and miss for a lot of people. Um, obviously you have your certain places that, you know, get snow and, you know, you, you can pretty much count on it. But what do you guys do in this time of year when you're, you know, you're counting on the snow 
it's part of your business. You, you kind of need that income, but it's just not coming in. Now, fortunately for me, you know, it's not something I'm kind of counting on. It's not something that I have to have. You know, I, I'm counting on it, I want it, but it's just not, uh, it's not gonna hurt me if it doesn't come. But at the same time, I don't wanna have $7,500, you know, sitting here at my house or on my truck and not using it. You know, to me, that's a waste of money. And I don't mind having it, I like doing it, but I wanna to get to use it more than once or twice a year. So that's, that's kind of where I'm in the dilemma of just having stuff sitting around, getting old, all that kind of stuff, and you're just not using it, you're not making any money. So, you know, I've had the plow now for, you know, what, a year and a half or so, uh, almost two years, and I haven't made my money back on the plow yet. And so, this is where in my mind, you know, as a business owner, I'm thinking, you know, is this a waste of time? Should I just cut the cord and be done with it? Sell it, get it out of the way and, uh, and do all that. But, you know, then you sit and think, it's like, well, you sell it, you know, you're probably gonna take a loss on it because, you know, whoever, whoever is buying it, you know, lives in this area and they know that it hasn't been snowing. And maybe it's one of those things where I can, you know, just wait for the first, big snow and then post it up for sale and maybe I can, I can get some decent money out of it. But um, this is where I'm kind of struggling at. So what do you guys do with your guys' stuff? So I wanna hear from the guys that are kind of in the same situation. You know, you're, you're used to getting some snow, but you haven't, haven't been getting a whole bunch lately, last few years. Um, you know, obviously, like I said before, the guys that are, that are getting the snow, the north, the northeast, uh, that kind of stuff, you know, I understand you guys, you guys make a living off this off the snow and I, I I understand that we're we're not in that in that situation you know um, to me the the snow is just kind of extra money uh, if it comes great if it doesn't then you know so be it but at the same time you got to make uh, you know a business decision is it, is it worth it is it worth is it worth the headache because snow is not an easy game as a lot of you guys know. You know, it's a lot of waiting, it's a lot of overnight, it's a lot of getting up early, and it's it's out in the cold, it's all that kind of stuff. And you know, right now, you know, right now I'm, I'm still kind of excited. It's it's in the it's in the beginning of the year. Um, you know, I want it to snow. I want to get out there and plow. I just don't know if it's worth it. I really don't. So, what do you guys do in your guys' areas? You know, when you're in the same situation, I mean, you just cut cut the cord and be done with it, or do you kind of hold out and uh, and hope that it comes comes around? What do you guys do? So, leave some comments. I would really like to know because honestly, I'm kind of torn. I really don't know what to do right now. Um, I just don't know. Um, you know, one day I want to sell the stuff. One day I don't. Um, you know, I really don't know what to do. And I, I think if I if I sell the the plow game and, and get rid of all that, you know, I could put that money towards something else. Or do I just hold out and just you know hope and pray for the extra money during the during the winter? And if it comes, great. If not, then so be it. Um, what do you guys do? Please leave a comment. I'm, I'm here trying to get feedback from you guys. Um, I get a lot of comments saying, you know, I've helped people over the years and this and that, but you guys have helped me as well. We've talked about this numerous times. So that's why I like making these kind of videos where I can get your guys' opinion, what do you guys do, and, uh, and all that kind of stuff because this is the best part about social media is being able to interact with people all over the country, get different frames of mind, get different opinions, and kind of see what, what might work best. So what do you guys think? Please leave me, leave me a comment and uh, we'll see you guys later.